hello everyone welcome back to my channel for another video in today's video i am going to be filming a what's cooking video and this is the first cooking video that i have filmed on my channel if you are new here then welcome my name is skylar and if you enjoy lifestyle and motherhood videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel today i am going to be cooking buffalo chicken spaghetti squash boats so you need some chicken I like to use boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I have two pieces in here. You need a spaghetti squash and some buffalo wing sauce. I chose the Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. I have never had this one before, but I like the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, so I thought I'd give it a try. Some plain Greek yogurt and some shredded cheese, and I am also going to add in a half of a chopped onion. And this is all going to be put into a crock pot, and then when the chicken is done being cooked, we will cook the spaghetti squash and then put it all together. So the first thing I am going to do is put the chicken into the crock pot and then I am going to chop up half of the onion and put that in the crock pot as well. is all cut up and put into the crock pot I put most of the bottle of the buffalo sauce in. I do leave a little bit out so I can put it on after if I want to and then I put a cup of the plain Greek yogurt into the crock pot as well once everything is in the crock pot I stir it around and make sure the chicken is completely covered and then I put the lid on it and this chicken cooks on low for six hours. When the six hours is up and the chicken is fully cooked, I just take two forks and I shred the chicken inside of the crock pot. I then put the lid back on and turn my crock pot to the warm setting. Once the chicken is finished, I go ahead and start with the spaghetti squash. The spaghetti squash is pretty tough for me to cut, so I recruited my husband to go ahead and cut that open for me. Once it is open, you scrape out all of the seeds. I just use a spoon to do this. It's easy and the seeds just come right out. are out of the spaghetti squash I set both halves on the baking sheet and I drizzle a little bit of olive oil and I put some salt and pepper on them and then I just use a basting brush and I make sure that everything is covered with the olive oil and salt and pepper once that is finished I put the spaghetti squash in the oven and that bakes for 30 minutes. While the spaghetti squash is cooling, I take the chicken out of the crock pot and I just put it into a glass bowl off to the side. Once the spaghetti squash is cool, I go ahead and scrape out all of the noodles in the spaghetti squash and I put them into the bowl with the buffalo chicken. Once all of the noodles are in the bowl with the chicken, I stir it up and make sure that it is thoroughly mixed. And then I use some of the sauce that is left over in the crock pot and just make sure that we have enough sauce in there and that it isn't too dry. 
When that is finished, I scoop out the spaghetti squash and the chicken and I go ahead and put it right back in the skins of the spaghetti squash and I sprinkle some cheese on the top. I then put this back in the oven for a couple of minutes just to melt the cheese. this video if you enjoyed this video and want to see more cooking videos like this then give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video bye